continue on from our talk during the last video. One of the most common passwords is just the word password, not the most secure. When you make a password, it's saved to your computer, but it's encrypted into something called a password hash, making it unreadable. An attacker could theoretically steal this hash and decrypt your password, but this takes a while to do. As long as your password is long and you change it often, you should be safe against this kind of attack. Someone might also try tricking you into giving them your password. This is called a phishing attack because the attacker is phishing for information. They might also try getting other information like your name or your credit card number. For example, an attacker might send you an email claiming that you have a package to pick up or that there's a problem with your account. There are a number of fake reasons that they might use. But the goal is to trick you into revealing sensitive information. You should be suspicious whenever someone asks you about sensitive information, like your password, especially over the internet. Next, we're going to talk about malware, which is especially bad software. There are a bunch of different types of malware, but all of them use a computer for something the user doesn't intend. Spyware tends to really slow down your computer, too. You've probably heard of computer viruses before. A virus is a piece of malware that copies itself into other programs or files. Worms are similar, but they copy themselves over a network to other computers instead. There's also one particularly nasty type of malware called the keylogger. Keyloggers record your keystrokes into a file and send them to an attacker. The attacker then knows everything you type, including passwords and personal messages. Luckily, there are some things you can do to make your computer more secure and reduce the risk of malware. Whenever you're downloading software or files, make sure you're getting them from a trustworthy source.